Hi, I'm Mike Bordick with the Illinois Pork Producers Association, and I'm here with Luke Goody of the Fighting Illini basketball team. What do you know about grilling pork? Honestly, I don't know too much. I'll give you a few tips here just to get started. So what I like to do first whenever I fire up my grill, is I like to use some vegetable oil. Put it on a paper towel and then run it on the grill grate. You just put that on there, helps your meat from sticking to the grate. You wanna make sure you don't overcook it. So the best way to do that is to use a meat thermometer. This one here, it's a digital thermometer. You wanna get that to 145 degrees. So I started off putting it over on the direct heat side, and then once it gets the nice grill marks, I move it over to the non-direct side. Also, when you're flipping your tenderloin, you wanna use tongs or this spatula that I have here because you don't wanna use anything sharp. Anytime you puncture the meat, you allow juices to come out and that's not what you want. There's great benefits to having pork tenderloin. It's got the heart healthy check mark from the American Heart Association. Not only that, but it's also got all sorts of great protein and vitamins and minerals inside there. So this piece of meat that we're cooking here is the pork tenderloin and it's considered a lean meat. And there are eight different cuts of pork from the loin that USDA considers to be lean meat. What, what are some of the things that you're looking for when you go out and buy pork? Living on a college budget, you're looking for the cheapest uh, things in the grocery store. Well, that's great because a pork loin, a whole pork loin, is a very uh, cost-effective way to get your great source of protein. And a whole pork loin is going to be somewhere between eight and nine pounds. You can turn that pork loin into a variety of different things. You can cut them into your own chops, you can turn it into a roast, you can cube it out. Very efficient, very effective, great for somebody on a, on a budget. Luke, do you know anything about ground pork? Um, not much, no. Okay, ground pork is something that I use all the time. What's great about ground pork is that it can be used for anything. Uh, you can put it in your chili, you can put it in spaghetti, whatever. What I like to do the most with it though, is turn it into ground pork burgers. So what we could do is take a, a pound of ground pork, you put that in a bowl, add some breadcrumbs or an egg as a binding agent, but make that into a ground pork patty and throw that on the grill. I grill them up all the time. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to eat. Thank you very much for having me out here today. I learned a lot from you. Um, I'm excited to take these tips that you taught me today on grilling, bring it into the spring and summertime, and uh, hopefully everybody can go support Illini Athletics this summer and uh, the following year. So thank you very much. Well, thanks for coming. Go Illini.